Good morning, everybody. I'd like to thank you all for coming this morning. You know, we talked about what we were going to do this year for State of the City, and we could have done the traditional coat and tie, but that was a little bit stuffy, I think. So we tried to last year doing a video, and it worked out well, so we thought we'd try a different one this year. And in fact, here's uh, Jamie Clarkson to give us a little bit of an update. Hey, John, how morning, you Morning, Jamie. How are you, sir? Good, good, good. good. What can you tell us? What's been going on this year? Well, uh, you know, right. as you know, we got the new Plaster Center and the Gene Dicknell Center just to the east of us here on campus. Uh, I talked with B.J. Harris, the Crawford County Visitors and Convention Director, and he told me that uh, regarding the hotels, the first quarter of 2016, the hotel revenues were up $300,000 over the same period in 2015, and the Plaster Center had a 10 track meets with over 4,000 contestants in it. So it's really brought a lot of economic impact to the community. A big boost for the community, right, was it? Right, yeah. yeah. So what do, you, what do you see anything for the next year or more of the same? More of the same, uh, continued growth. I'd like to talk about the public safety uh, debt sales tax on the law enforcement sure, building and the sure. fire station number one. We're gonna pay that off a year early, retire the debt one year early in 2017 instead of 2018 and we're gonna save the taxpayers $130,000. And the sales tax will expire a year early as well. It's a half cent that will come off. Gordon Jay, how's, how's it going, going? John? Good. How's it's it going, going great. It's a beautiful day today. It's, it's, it's gonna be day. fun to watch yes, this Yes, it is, day. it will, it will. So. so what's going on this year? Well, we've got a couple of, of big things going on. Um, Mission Clay area, uh, mm -hmm. it's after they formally closed down their clay operations a few years ago, and we started thinking about what, what could be done with that area. So we started asking the public, and we hired a consultant to an EPA grant, and we're looking at the economic and real estate conditions, as well as some environmental conditions, to give us enough information to make some informed ideas about what practically can be done in that area. Well, people are looking at recreation. They want to preserve some of the history of that Mission Clay area. So, uh, so we're looking at ways we can make it new, right, but still preserve some of the old. You might have seen uh, a lot of plastic tubes sticking up out of the ground all around the city. Well, we've got uh, new internet providers that have been coming to town, and they're, by, uh, by next year, they'll have laid over 100 miles of underground conduit, and each one of those plastic conduits have hundreds of strands of fiber optic cables in it. It's really exciting. It's great, and it's going to drastically improve the ability to communicate in this area is absolutely there it uh, the, the great thing about it is a lot of the citizens will have options now about high-speed bandwidth and all of those providers get their internet from different cities around the country mm -hmm. which means we have redundant connections which makes it very robust and very secure we're gonna be as connected as any city in the country and there's really no limit to what we can do in the city with all that connectivity thank Good you talking to you. you too can I get a hot dog later you can get you right. we got them ready anytime <laughs> you want one thanks all righty Cameron, how are you this morning? Not too bad, John. Good, yourself? Good. I'm doing good. You ready for some football? Oh, definitely. Always good, ready for good. football. So, what we got doing this year? Well, uh, one of our big projects we had this year is uh, we got uh, the mill and overlay down at the airport. Uh -huh. uh, we took uh, an inch off the uh, old asphalt there and put down uh, two fresh ones there. So now uh, we're geared up for the next 20 years out there at the airport on that main runway. Great. Anything else? Well, uh, we've got uh, South Rouse. It's one of the projects that's been on our horizon for quite a while. Uh, we're going to be uh, widening out from uh, Centennial down to the city limits there. And is it next year that we're going to get the uh, runway extension done also, isn't it? Uh, correct. Uh, we just uh, finished up the uh, grant work on that. Uh, we're going to get uh, a million and a quarter dollars to extend the main runway another 600 feet. That'll be a, a big benefit to all our pilots flying in and out of here, won't Oh, definitely will that be. Will. That will. Hi, good morning. How, How are, are you, hon? I'm good. good. To see you. you too. You too. So, give us an update. What do we got going? Probably the most exciting is the land bank is live. It's operational. We're ready to start selling properties and buying properties, and um, have a fancy new website that everyone can see the inventory at any given time. Sure. The land bank is um, operated out of the housing department, but it's under control of a board of trustees. So, a group of very smart people in the community make the decisions, set the policies and the plans for it. We have the ability to acquire property and to sell property um, outside of the city scope and we are, the goal is to put vacant, abandoned, underused parcels back into productive use. Now, one thing that really bubbled up this year that's um, kind of wasn't on our radar but it's, it's come to fruition is a homeless task force. So there's about 40 people in the community that have come together to try to figure out how to create a sustainable solution 
um, to homelessness in our community. How you hey, doing, Joe, How you doing? All right, buddy. You? Good. 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 So what's new this year? What we got going on right now? Well, just you know, a, a lot of a lot of good things going on. Um, a lot of good things for the public safety sales tax. I mean, truly increased our ability to train more. Uh, and that's something we're really concentrating on is, is additional training. And it's I can already see that it's helping our responses. It's making us more efficient and uh, a lot more uh, react, proactive instead of reactive on that. A lot of other stuff going on as far as fire prevention. We you know we. We are es escalating that a lot. Um, we, you know, we, we do a lot of things for the community and the elderly, and uh, but we really concentrate on on the young, especially elementary mm -hmm. schools. Um, we actually reach a little over 2,000 students a year with our fire prevention program. Brent, John, how are you, how are you doing, doing this morning? I'm doing doing well. good. Doing good, well. good, good, good. So uh, Mike was giving me a little update that you've got some good things going on. Why don't you kind of explain sure, to us? Sure, sure. Things have been, uh, we've been uh, really busy at the police department, um, uh, especially with the narcotics unit and the cases that they have generated over these past two years. Um, we've seen a significant amount of cases that we have uh, filed with the county attorney's office. Mm -hmm. Um, but unfortunately, it has caused their office to become overwhelmed. So what we did is we reached out to our county partners and jointly we created a uh, brand new position, uh, a narcotics special prosecutor, which will uh, solely work on uh, Pittsburgh cases. Mm -hmm. uh, as we know, John, we believe that this position will, will greatly enhance uh, our ability to make Pittsburgh a safer place to, to live. None of this could ever be possible without the Pittsburgh voter. Um, supporting the public safety sales tax and along with that uh, our ongoing strong relationship and partnership that we've had with the with the county over these past many many years yeah i think so hey, cool. wow. hey, how, oh great yeah, like, golly and nice what to see you here you do you do how are you doing today i'm, I'm good, good i'm good, good. so uh, Brent was telling me you've got some exciting information for us, well, so what is it? we're talking about partnerships, sure. and um, you know, the university is a great partner of ours, um, certainly with the Parks Department. Uh -huh. This year we're working with Pitt, Pitt State Construction again on some another great restroom project. They're building Trailhead Parks Restroom. Uh, they've already built the pergola at Memorial Auditorium, so another exciting year for us in Pitt State Construction. We've had great success in our programs, uh -huh. and uh, talk about economic development, and and uh, you know this atmosphere and bringing people into the city we have done a really good job with our tournaments this year uh, youth softball baseball tournaments we've had over 200 teams in this year that have you know stayed the weekend and really had a great impact in our community mr mayor how are you like i'm doing good you? beautiful day for a game good. yes it is it's always a good day for a game though. absolutely it is so Kim was telling me you've got some good news for us. So Absolutely. What is it? Well, it's been a, a strong year for business growth here in uh, Pittsburgh. We, we welcomed uh, some new businesses to, to town this year, but we also had some significant existing business expansions. Uh, you'll remember just a couple of weeks ago, we, we broke ground on a new 61,000 square foot expansion of Kindle Packaging here in Pittsburgh. Yep. They've been in our community for about 30 years. Uh, it's a $9 million expansion. We'll add 15 new jobs in phase one. So that, that's obviously great news. Uh, uh, that same week, we also broke ground on uh, new Via Christi Mercy uh, primary care clinic mm -hmm. uh, two days earlier than that. Uh, so that, that was great to see our medical hub uh, continue to, to keep growing here in our community. But then also Eagle Pitcher, uh, they, they've added 55 new jobs just this year. Uh, so it's great to see our existing uh, industries and businesses continue to grow here. Well, everything we've done so far this year, um, we'll kind of just go down through the list of operations. Um, water treatment plant, we're rehabbing a well, we're uh, replacing the column pipe in that. Water distribution, we've, we've replaced almost a mile and a half on 10 different projects, affecting almost 200 different residents. We've, in wastewater treatment, we continue to upgrade our SCADA system and improve our controls between the plant and the, and the uh, lift stations. Wastewater collections, we're continuing to line sewer pipes, trying to get rid of our I&I. &I. We're stormwater, we're keeping up with all the rain we've had this year trying to unplug storm sewers. Uh, streets, we've done uh, almost 5,000 tons of asphalt between 20th Street, South Rouse, Free Kings. Uh, re we've rejuvenated the streets we've done to extend the life of those streets. And we've continued to do some concrete repairs and miscellaneous stuff around town that people don't always see all the time as well. Morning, Doug. Morning, how are you, man? I'm doing good, and you? Good doing to see good. you. Matt was telling me you got some good news for us about the casino. So what yeah. do you got to tell us today? Well, we're excited. We're going to be opening in March of 2017 with 625 of the hottest, newest slots, table games, including live craps and roulette. If you're hungry, come on down to Two Brothers Mining Company. 
or just hang out at the uh, All-American Bronco Bar. If you have a favorite national touring act, you might be able to catch them at uh, the Corral, which is our entertainment venue. And uh, for those that uh, are interested in getting information on how to be a vendor at the casino or if they want one of our over 400 team member gigs, they just go to kansascrossingcasino.com and they get all the information there. And while they're there, I'd encourage them to sign up for the Players Club because they're going to get a free entry into our Roll for a Million sweepstakes where somebody's going to have a chance to win $1 million. So are we ready to feed these people? We're ready to feed these today? people. Let's get them so some food. Get them lined up <laughs> and go. get them going. All right, dinner bell ready. I'd just Come like to, uh, again, say thank you for coming today. Uh, you know, uh, it makes it easy to stand up here and do this when you have the, the employees and the department heads that we have. They make our job easy. And so, uh, Hope you all have a great rest of your day and, and thanks again for coming.